Hey guys, so this is going to be my seven days of summer nails. Um, I'm going to be showing you a couple nail tutorials. Um, nothing really professional. I'm an amateur at nails, as you can see from the pictures here of some uh, the tutorials I'll be doing today. But I recently received some Shaney nail polishes, um, more like a bunch of them. I have like 20 or maybe even 30 nail polishes. And so I started experimenting and I started to film um, what I was experimenting with. And so here are seven nail tutorials for summer. You know, summer, you have nothing else to do. So why not change up your nails every day? All right, so here's the first one, number one. Um, I have no idea what to call these, so we're just gonna leave them at the numbers. I'm sorry this part is out of focus. Um, so I'm just painting the tips of my nail, not even the tips, the top of it. Um, the tips would be at the bottom, that's really confusing. But I'm just gonna be painting the top of my nails closest to my fingers. Um, and sorry again, not a nail professional, these are not going to be crisp and clean as you guys could probably make it. And just to save time, I'm not going to be doing my thumb and some other nails in the tutorial. And then you're just going to take a darker pink color, and then you're going to go ahead and make a diagonal stripe, sort of like a candy cane looking design. Um, there you go. And then just cleaning up any edges. Again, nothing professional, please don't judge my nail skills. As you can tell, I've never done a nail tutorial before, so all the angles and anything are really, really awkward. <laughs> Um, so there you go, just trying to show you guys that. And then now the rest of it will be in focus, yay! And then I'm taking a dark magenta pink, and then I'm just going to be filling in the rest of my nails, again in that diagonal shape. And then you'll get this really, really pretty design, and then I'm just going to finish that off um, with the rest of my nails. Alright, so you can leave it like that, which is also really, really cute. Or you can go ahead and add some glitter. So here I'm taking again some shiny nail polish. Um, this is just their glitter, their small art, um, like nail polish bottles. And then I'm just gonna be going to be making a stripe along the pink and dark pink. And then there you go. So you just add some glitter to that. So really, really pretty, really fun, and perfect for summer. Of course, you can do any color combination, and it will look amazing. All right. So there's that. The next one I attempted to do a strawberry looking. Um, nail tutorial look. Um, so I'm just painting my nails red. Again, not painting them really nicely or clean just because I'm testing and experimenting with these nail polishes, uh, which they are really nice. Some are a little opaque and some are really thick. Um, okay, anyways, back to the tutorial. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and make the little, they're not even called stems, just the leaves, I guess, on top of the strawberries. And then there you go. So those were actually really hard to make than I thought. Um, this green wasn't really one of my favorites. Um, it was really thick and it was just really clumpy, so it was really hard to work with. So I guess it was just the luck of the draw of the nail polish, but other than that, they were pretty good. Like the black was really good. And then I don't have a dotting tool, so I just went ahead and took a bobby pin and I used that as my dotting tool with the um, black as a little strawberry seed. And there you go, cute little strawberries. All right, next is number three. Um, I don't even know what to call this either, but it's just um, a really pretty accent um, with a white and purple heart. So I'm just gonna be painting my nails purple, um, every single one except the ring finger. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and paint that white. Sorry, I don't know where that clip went. But I'm just gonna paint my ring finger white and then I'm going to attempt to draw a heart. You can draw anything, a heart, an anchor, anything you can draw really. Um, and it just makes a really pretty accent. You can use the same color if you want or you can use a different color like I did. I used a lilac purple for this look and there you go. Really nice. The purple was really, really clumpy. Um, just depending on the nail polish again, but all the other nail polish seem to be really good. Like the white's pretty good, the minty green's really good. Um, so it just depends on the nail polish. So I guess Shane's not that consistent, but really nice. Really comparable to like a Wet n Wild um, nail polish. All right, and then uh, just paint my nails white, and then I'm going to be making some stripes um, with this minty green color. Really, really cute. Um, I really like this look. I would definitely wear this. Just really simple, really sweet. You can use any color. You can do rainbow. You can do whatever you want. Um, I hope this kind of inspires you. All right, number five was inspired by like jawbreaker candies. 
So again, just paint your nails white and then you're gonna do a quick layer of white on top. This has to be perfect. And then you're gonna go ahead and drop some colors of nail polish on this one. I'm using pink and yellow. And then I'm taking a needle and I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it and swirl together so it has that swirly effect like of like a jawbreaker or like a marble effect. Um, and you can use a safety pin if you don't have a needle or anything like that. Anything will work. And then again, I'm just experimenting with different colors and putting them in different places, the drops, and putting more drops. And you can see you get a really different effect each time. No nail is um, like the other. And then I'm doing a green color that has some metallics in it, again with the pink. So I thought this was really cool. Definitely needs a little bit of practice and you don't want to swirl too much, or otherwise it gets a little muddy. All right, number six, really I just had no idea what else to do. So I went ahead and just painted um, my nails blue and then I left the ring finger and then just added a lot of glitter to it to make an accent of glitter. Basically, that's it. Just really a filler one. All right, and then last one is number seven, which is a really cool design. I don't have no idea why I took off my nail polish because I ended up using the same color. So yeah, anyways. Um, you're going to be taking your second color you're using for like that weaving pattern for the ring finger and you're going to go ahead and just paint a little bit on the top of your fingers and then I'm going back and painting my nails the same color. I just had them. <laughs> Alright, and then I'm going to be taking that blue color and I'm going to be making a stripe, sort of like the first design, well basically like the first design um, we did. Just blowing my nails dry. Okay, and then I'm going to be taking the original like the darker color and then I'm going to be making a stripe that way oh my gosh it's going so fast and then I'm doing that again with the dark or the light blue and then I'm taking the dark blue again so basically just creating like a weaving pattern just like that I really have no idea what I was doing at this point but basically you just want a weaving pattern and then you can leave it like that if you want or you can go ahead and do what I did and I took some glitter and then I made like the design, like I followed the weaving pattern and then I like highlighted it so you could really see that there was a difference in that ring finger nail. So there you go, that's what it looks like. Yay! Alright, um, giveaway time. So if you want to win these awesome nail pens that I'm filming in like super slow motion, there you go, all these gorgeous colors. I love that blue color. Anyways, you saw I used these nail pens on the last um, nail look. And again, they're just nail pens, really, really cool. They have a really fine tip, and then there's nail polish, and all you do is squeeze. So I think that's so convenient. So thank you, Shaney, for um, sponsoring this quick little giveaway. And it's just 12 of these gorgeous nail markers. And then the rules are really simple. All right, so rules. First, you have to be a subscriber to this channel. Second, you have to like the Shaney Facebook page. Third, you have to comment below your Facebook name and what you're most excited about with summer. And the giveaway ends in one week on June 17th at midnight, and you must have parental permission or must be 18 or older. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys in a future video, and good luck!